Sarah, and I live in Houston, Texas. Uh, I have been a conservative since before I could drive. Um, when I was 16, my parents, at my request, got me a subscription to the Rush Limbaugh newsletter. I cast my first vote for president um, when I was 20. I applied for and sent in my absentee ballot when I was in college um, and voted for Bob Dole. And, and I never considered doing otherwise. And to be honest, my my politics haven't changed. Um, they haven't changed at all. I was always a true believer that that character and morals mattered, that limited government and fiscal responsibility, that those things mattered, that uh, freedom and personal responsibility mattered. And most of all, I always believed that on the merits, just on the merits of, of the quality of the idea, that conservatism was a winning was a winning one. And that uh, when not voiced by the, the loudest grifters in the room, that, that people could be persuaded about that. And I guess over the last few years, I realized that very few of the people that I thought believed the same things that I did actually do um, when push comes to shove. Um, I have always thought that my principles should be applied equally to both sides. Uh, for example, if I was not happy that President Obama used executive orders to try to change the immigration laws, well, that's that's the job and, and the responsibility of Congress and un, under the Constitution. And that's not the role of the executive officer. And, and I was upset with that. So when President Trump, for example, tries to use an executive order to change the law regulating social media companies, well, I, I'm against that too. Um, but it seems that applying principles to both sides is not uh, not done very much anymore. Um, I guess for me, you know, now we have Trump and my biggest issue with Trump is not how thin skinned and petty he is or just the ignorance or ego or his, you know, authoritarian streak or his affinity for oppressive dictators. My, my biggest issue with Trump is the constant barrage of lies. Um, and, and not just the lies that can be, you know, easily disproven, but the kind of corruption that taints um, in the minds of many what conservatism even really is. I'm not going to be a conduit for or excuse or promote Trump's lies. And, and I'm not going to do that with my vote. Um, I'm going to continue to hold the principles that I have always had, even if they're unfashionable. Um, but I think that in living out my principles, I think that I can't vote for Joe Biden either. I'm not sure that he is the person that we need to model racial reconciliation that we desperately need in America right now, based on some of the things he said uh, recently and in the more distant past. Um, so where does that leave me for November? I've decided that I'm going to write in my vote for the one person that I feel has earned it. Um, and the one person that I think does continue to live by the principles that, that I think that he and I both share, and that's Mitt Romney.